Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to look at the Edmund Astroscan, a, a wonderful and charming telescope, almost perfect for kids. This has got to be one of the most innovative telescopes ever designed. I'm pretty sure that Edmund was the first to build this uh, bowling ball kind of mount, although Isaac Newton arguably made one similar to this um, way back when. But the idea of putting a telescope on a, a round bowling ball thing like this is very, very innovative. Uh, and they were the first in modern times to do it, I'm pretty sure. And even bigger telescopes have made. There are lots of imitators and they've even um, come out with a new version. They discontinued this for a while. This was very popular in the um, 60s and 70s and maybe in through the 80s and they discontinued it and they uh, came out with it again. Anyway, it's a wonderful little telescope. A lot of charm. Perfect telescope for kids. I've always recommended this telescope as a great first scope for kids. Uh, it's got a little plastic cap here. You can get it off. Um, here's the uh, fairly cheesy Edmund friction kind of focuser. Um, it does use an interesting innovative system here. Uh, instead of having a secondary on a spider, the secondary is mounted to a glass uh, it's a glass plate there, and it's an optically, uh, it has to be an optically uh, flat glass plate so that it doesn't dis disturb the light. So it's not just a picture window or anything, it's, it's a piece of optical glass, but it is flat, it doesn't do anything to the image. And there's the mirror there in the back. The mirror is a very, this is a very fast uh, four, four and a half inch uh, reflector, so it's really fast. It's going to have not the greatest optics just because of the physics of the situation. But it's perfect for low power views. It makes a great scope for a kid. You can look at the moon, see good amounts of detail with the moon. You can look at, uh, you can see, barely see the rings of Saturn with this thing, or at least see that Saturn has rings. Um, the finder here is a peep scope, which is very effective, especially in this power. Very, very effective. Um, nice little telescope. They even came with a strap so you could carry it and you could sit down and hold this telescope with a low enough power eyepiece. And of course, this is an inch and a quarter eyepieces you can get anywhere from very, very low powers, maybe 20 power on up. Um, so you could sit there and look through the telescope. Um, it also, the this uh, interesting, this thing here, this base, is threaded. So you can put this on a tripod, then you'd have this at a convenient height. Loses some of the portability that way. Of course, you can always dismantle it. So anyhow, there's a, that's a, a very, very nice little Edmund telescope. A beautiful innovation. A couple little uh, downsides to it. The optics are too fast. Honestly, a you know, four inch should be a longer or be a cat adapter or something. Um, but as a compromise and as a nice innovative design, and especially for kids, not bad, not bad at all. The low power is an advantage because for a kid, a kid could successfully aim this thing. It would stay there. You can rotate the eyepiece to a convenient position, much better than a lot of the other scopes with all the knobs and things that a kid, uh, you know, six, seven, eight year old kid is not going to be able to operate that. This one, you could probably, a six-year-old could probably run this telescope and maybe uh, and maybe have some success with them. Certainly an older kid would have no difficulty whatsoever. Here's the Edmund Astroscan next to uh, a telescope that it, it could be said to be its predecessor in a number of ways. First of all, this is a replica, but it's actual size of the first telescope made by Isaac Newton back in the 1700s charming little replica. This is made by a Russian company. Um, and you can see that it's got a bowling ball kind of a mount. It's not quite the same kind of a bowling ball. This depends on some friction to move around. So it's not quite the same as this. But it is a kind of a ball type of a mount. This is actually a, this is actually a working little telescope. And it's a, a pretty faithful replica of Isaac Newton's telescope, his first Newtonian telescope. And uh, it does have a ball kind of a mount, although it's certainly not quite the same as with the Astroscan. 
I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the Edmund Astroscan Telescope. Thank you for watching.